You're watching Hexus TV and here we are at CBIT 2010 over in Hanover. And we're over on the Zotac stand where they've got Fermi running over here. And this is a real-time physics demo, which our man Luke is playing. <laughs> He's got a bit of a wiggle on there. Uh, this is supersonic rocket sled. Is that right? Supersonic rocket sled? Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, basically, the idea behind this is that everything you're seeing going on on the screen is happening in real time. So the way the sled reacts to the thrust, uh, running along the rails, the friction, so you can see it wobbling around a little bit there. The house coming apart as he goes past really fast. That should collapse. There you go. All of that kind of thing, the ragdolling, all happening in real time. So we're going to just let this run again and see if Luke can actually get to the end of the track without killing the guy. So the wind resistance on the top of the thing, that's all been calculated. The particle physics there with it all falling apart, that collapsing. The bridge is going to collapse if Luke makes it across. There you go. It's all being sucked along by the uh, sled. And now Luke needs to start braking or he's going to go straight off the end of the track. And he's got it completely wrong. So we'll just watch this guy fall. Right, so this is Turin having a go on the rocket sled demo. And he's always hit boost two already. Is he going for boost three or four? No, he's not. He's leaving it. He's leaving it. Slowing it down or he's taking it steady. The top time turner is 19 seconds, by the way. You're and you're at 22. Start braking. Start braking. You need to be braking. You need to be braking. You're gonna. Yeah, yeah. See, that's why you need to be braking. <laughs> that is a spin, isn't it? Oh. Oh, we're going to get the expert show us now. <coughs> oh, so this is wireframe mode. I'm going to hand over to Trinda, who's going to talk us through the technical stuff. Okay, high density model. Can we start it? So you get going. In uh, wireframe? Yeah. Can that be done? So it's all rendered on the GPU. Here we go. Very, very high triangle count. That's done by DX11 and tessellation. See the geometry is less sparse the further out we look. OK, I'd be so impressed if you could set a record time on wireframe. OK, there's, there's the finish. Can you stop it in time? Can you stop it? No, it's long gone. But you can see, even the model, even this far out, it's heavily tessellated. What that means is it looks very, very lifelike. Right, now we're going to see the physics in action. So the GPU can do both the compute side and the physics side. And it switches very, very quickly between the two. So, let's go. Oh, it's just about to go, just about to go. OK, you can see the physics of the rocks. It's massively tessellated, and what you can do in this benchmark is change how many triangles you portion to the rocks. Oh, he's over. Yeah, Rose says he's over there somewhere. Yeah, what's this, what's this thing <laughs> down here? Oh no, he's coming back. He's Maybe a chick plant. <laughs> So that's uh, that. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's the uh, NVIDIA Supersonic Rocket Sled demo, which is designed to show off the uh, physics processing capabilities of the new Fermi graphics card. Jeff soon on Hexus TV for more from CBIT 2010.